Welcome to Afro Nation TV channel. So, what first comes to your mind when he talks about tourist destinations in Africa? Pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx in Egypt, or it's the Victoria Falls of Zambia and Zimbabwe? Whatever it is, Africa stands out in color and culture. So, if you are one person of color and culture, a tour around African countries would be good for you. Trust me. Okay. We'll definitely not be able to capture all the amazing places on the African continent, but what would sure do is tear up your love for beautiful places. You're watching the Afro Nation TV channel. Kindly click the subscribe button now and turn on notification for our subsequent videos. Thank you. Moving on, let's take a look at the top 10 amazing destinations in Africa. A disclaimer now, this is a random selection across Africa. You can suggest other beautiful places you know in the comment section. Who knows, we might make another video out of your suggestion. Number 10 on our list is Dra Valley, Morocco. The Dra is Morocco's longest river. It is formed by the confluence of dates and many rivers. It flows from the high Atlas Mountains southeastward to Tagonite and from Tagonite mostly westwards to the Atlantic Ocean. Most of the year, the path of the Dra after Tagonite falls dry. So, Dra Valley crosses unique landscapes and Berber villages to finally stop on Saracen dunes. It is located between Ozazate and Mamid and is also named Desert Entrance Door. Moving on to number 9 on our list is the Lekki Conservation Center, Nigeria. It is operated by the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, NCF. This center has a huge tract of wetlands set aside for wildlife viewing. Canopy walkways enable you to see monkeys, crocodiles, and various birds. Just so you know, early morning is the best time to visit. There is a conservation center and a library. Then on to number 8, Wonders of the Nile, Egypt. A cruise down the Egyptian Nile reveals relics of one of the world's most ancient civilizations. From Giza to Aswan, an experience of one of the earliest civilization. Then number seven, Mount Mulanje, Malawi. Mulanje is known locally as the island in the sky because it rises almost sheer from the plains below, which have an average altitude of 650 meters. Unlike some of the world's peaks that are somewhat hidden in surrounding ranges, there is a genuine sense of wonder and awe as she draw closer to Mulanje and see it looming over all, all that surrounds it. The height of Mulanje is such that it creates its own climate and it has a great variety of vegetation reflecting its massive range of altitude. Best known and most impressive of the forest trees is the cedar which takes its name from these mountains. The massive stands at the northern limits of its natural habitat, but this does not prevent the Mulanji cedar rising to over 30 meters. This majestic tree stands straight and proud. Its two meter trunk protected but a thick fibrous bark. Number six is the Great Migration of Tanzania. The 800 kilometer trek of the immense wild beast head is the largest mammal migration on earth. The timing of the migration coincides with greening of nutritious grass, grasses on the short grass plains during the wet season. A better representation of the circle of life probably cannot be found anywhere else in the world. The journey starts in southern Serengeti when wild beast calves are being born. When the drought comes in May, the herd moves north to the Maasai Mara in Kenya, chomping down the high green grass, quickly followed by the gazelles and zebras. The migration is not without risk. Crossing rivers means facing about 3,000 crocodiles, patiently waiting for a queue, not to mention the famous Serengeti lion's population, by far the largest in Africa. Then, with the beginning of the short rains in late October, the migration makes its way back to the Serengeti. By December, the herds trek past Serunera, a small settlement in central Serengeti where the official Serengeti Visitor Center 
is located to return to their calving grounds again and the circle is complete. Then our number five is Capivade Archipelago. The archipelago of Capivade is with its intoxicating mixture of African and Portuguese heritage and its welcoming locals. Once a former colony and slave trade outpost, the Capivade Islands of today offer a spellbinding blend of African and Portuguese influences in their architecture, food, customs, and traditions. Being blessed with a pleasant year-round climate, the archipelago offers a diverse range of landscapes from verdant mountain ranges, lush hills and jungles to explore to volcanic landscapes or wide deserted beaches. Before we move, kindly click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified about our subsequent videos. Number four is the Magadigadi Pans Botswana. That's a bit hard to pronounce. Magadigadi is part of the Kalari Basin and has some of the largest salt pans in the world. The shimmering crack crust doesn't look as if it could support any form of life. After good rains, however, this desolate landscape transforms when new grass attracts thousands of animals. As the pans fill up, flocks of pelican and flamingos settle in as well. The park has a variety of habitats. The Botiti River has beautiful riverine forest on its banks. The pans in the east of the park don't have much animal activity in the dry winter months, but this is when their stark beauty is best appreciated. At this time, 4x4s can drive onto the pans to experience the strange environment up close. Number three on our list is the Lower Zambezi, Zambia. The Lower Zambezi National Park covers an area of over 4,000 square kilometers. It is a water wonderland with its position on the northern banks of the Zambezi River and incorporating the Kariba Dam and the Thunderous Victoria Falls. The floodplain habitat is interspersed with woodland savanna consists in of giant miombo, mopane and zabesian trees. A variety of acacia are also prevalent with pots from the winter thorn, a delectable treat for elephants. Rich and diverse wildlife exists within the park's borders. Number two is the Fish River Canyon, Namibia. The Fish River Canyon is the second largest canyon worldwide after the Grand Canyon in the USA. It is important to know that during the summer month, the canyon hike is closed due to heat. The Fish River hiking trail can be conducted during the month April to some September and can be completed within four to five days depending on fitness. The Fish River is 800 kilometers long and thus the longest river of Namibia. It has its source in the eastern part of the Nalkluft Mountains. After about 200 kilometers, the river flows into the Abdab Dam, which is the largest water reservoir in the country, with a circumference of 30 kilometers and a surface area of 28 kilometers square. Number one is the Table Mountain, South Africa. Table Mountain is the most iconic landmark of South Africa. It is also the country's most photographed attraction and its famous cable car took millions of people to its top. Table Mountain has become the single most welcoming icon to both dwellers and travelers from all over the world. But this mountain hides many surprises that wait to be discovered. It is much more than a scenic photographic background or a place from where you can take a breathtaking photo of Cape Town. There are about 2,200 species of plants found on Table Mountain and 
1,470 flora species. Many of these plants and flowers are endemic to this mountain. The magnificent Christian Bosch Botanical Gardens are found on the eastern foot of the mountain. Besides the parks, the whole area has a biodiversity that is rare to find in other places on earth. Its many valleys and streams make it an idyllic getaway from Cape Town. The National Park's most unique feature is its thin boss vegetation that is displayed better than anywhere in the world. The Cape Floral region of the National Park is one of the richest floral regions in the world. Over 70% of the flowers are endemic to the Table Mountain. It is no wonder that the mountain was chosen as one of the new seven world wonders. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly click the subscribe button and turn on the notification. See you in the next video.